So, so Sims fan, welcome to the Chateau de la Motte Husson. We are here on episode uh, two of the Strawbridge family here in The Sims 4. I am Luna, the Sims creatress, and we are on the series Let's Play Strawbridge Family. Um, this is inspired by the family um, from the TV show. Escape to the Chateau. They are a real life family, so I hope it's not weird that I recreated them, but I just think that they're such an adorable little family. Um, and I thought, oh, their story is so fun and they are so talented that I feel like it could lend itself really nicely to The Sims. So here we are. So in the family, we have Dorothy Strawbridge. She is the youngest. Um, but she does have a birthday coming up here. Next we have Arthur who's is taking a little nap. And then we have Angel or Angela. And she is the mom um, of this adorable little family. She's got such a lovely retro vibe. Uh, did she just get stuck in a loop? I hope not. Um, sort out the compostables. Maybe that'll stop the, the loop that was happening. We have our chickens over here. We're gonna feed them really quickly, but we have a blizzard going on, or okay, heavy snow. It's not a full on blizzard. And last but not least in the family here, in the house currently, we have Mr. Strawbridge himself, Mr. Dick Strawbridge. Um, soon, we also hope that Angela's parents, Jenny and not Terrence, Steve over here, um, We'll be able to move into the chateau. I think we're going to be doing a little bit of our um, upgrades to the house. And one of the next steps is going to be um, getting her parents moved onto the property, I think. Because that is a very important step here. Oh, she is, she is clipping straight through that. <laughs> And Mr. Strawbridge is late for work. What is he doing? Is he trying to call in? He's hungry. Oh, man. But you need to go to work, sir. Oh, you did not take care of yourself yesterday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, where is it? She is trying to find a restroom. Going all the way upstairs to the family residence. So right now in gameplay, we have the chateau kind of empty because they just have moved in. Um, and this is kind of some of the just basic furniture that I feel like we would have started out with first moving into the chateau and getting the family rooms kind of set up. Yes, I know that this is not accurate and this is not going to be an accurate like storytelling of the show at all. This is not the purpose of that. Um, it's going to be inspired by some of the things because I think, like I said, their story is really fun. Oh, look at the little car over there. I love all the details off in the distance. We are in Henford on Bagley in a lot that is, um, I want to say it's 54 by 54 or 50 by 40. I was way off. And I don't even think 54 by 54 are actual dimensions in this game. I don't know what I'm thinking. 50 by 40. Um, that's probably where my dyslexia comes in. But anyways, so we are here. This is Terrence, a nanny. We do have helpers um, in the game because it is way too much to be running a whole entire chateau. We will be building out some of this for renters to come in. And I'm very excited about that. Um, here we have a workshop area for some of their crafting. Um, there's a mill and oil press and things like that, which I think just go perfectly in the chateau anyways. Like we see here is the candle making station and flower arranging station, which is so on point for Angela actually. And if you're a fan of uh, Escape to the Chateau, um, you know, I try to, I try to take their characteristics and embody it in this game and be true to that of like who those characters would be um but of course it's only from an outsider's perspective and you know so it's not going to be a hundred percent 
of anything. Um, so I hope that I hope I've managed your expectations, basically. Okay, Angela, we need to come check on Dorothy. How about we... Um, let's hold her. Um, maybe we should see... She's doing pretty good, but I feel like maybe we should... Like... Nope. I love her little um, setup here. I don't need inventory. I just need to click on Dorothy. Let's put her in the back carrier so we can bring her with us while we do some things. Let's do laundry. With her, oh, she'll probably fall asleep on us like she does almost every time when we have her in the back carrier. By the time we get down to the laundry room, she has already fallen asleep. <laughs> Okay, that does creep me out a little bit when they slide onto the hip, like, in some of the animation. I'm like, I don't know why. It just, I think because I'm like, is the baby being trapped? What is happening? I don't know. And then sometimes it just clips weird in between all of them. And so, oh, wow, she's still awake. She's getting so big already. She's going to be a toddler soon. Why? Let's search those pockets real quick. Hmm. I think something. Why can't they do tasks with the babies on them? Um. I feel like that's weird. Every time I tell her to do something while she's baby carrying, she'll set Dorothy down all of a sudden. And I'm like, why? And then she'll walk off without her. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you can't leave your baby there. You're going to forget about her. Okay, let's find these appliances that we need. I think that I was updating some of my files. As you can see, I do have custom content. And sometimes um, I have I'm not decorative. I need actual washing machine. We'll do this one. Where's the dryer? And dryer. Perfect. There we go. Now let's see. Why? Like, why is there a problem having stuff get washed? Is she trying to roll over? Maybe we should put a laundry hamper down here too. I feel like that would be a good idea. Where are the hand paws? Maybe I'm just going to search. Oh, that's cute. Let's put one of these down here. We're just going to do a nice white. I'm really liking that so much. And we are going to do this. I don't mind that it's blocking that because it's just kind of open. And really quickly, there's... I'm not going to make this into a full-on decorating the laundry room video, but let's just add a couple things. I feel like it is so stark, and they need at least a couple of containers or something. There's so much stuff here. Okay, laundry. Sorry, my cat is running around in my room. I have few cats but one of my cats is in my room with me and she is driving me crazy knocking things over okay oh this is a cute little iron little set oh let's put that up here can it go up on these up yes okay perfect actually I feel like that needs to go up here
I feel like some of these like extra um like just almost like clothing items like overstock is what I was thinking like for baby stuff like diapers and things like that I would probably put stuff like that um in my laundry room I'm gonna put that there We're getting some cute little laundry room bits oh there's so many things right now in here that I'm like they're so cute I want to use them somewhere I'm just gonna set those there for a second because we definitely need to put those. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave them in the laundry room, but we're gonna set them to the side for a second. See, like having towels on a few of these racks, like they're they're freshly like folded, fresh from the laundry, but they're like the overstock. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Do we have a light in here? Maybe that would be helpful. And I'm just gonna grab one of these saucer lights. We're gonna do it in this. Wow. Amazing. Lighting. <laughs> it makes a difference. Nope. Okay. And actually, really quickly inventory but we're gonna um, bring those over here and then let's put this hat over here Come on, we need this. I do have the Better Build Buy app on here, but I'm still getting used to having it on my um, computer. I, don't, I was hoping that maybe that would be able to go on there. I don't want the boots on it because it'd be like a place, a little sit down place you can sit and put your boots and stuff on. Um, or take them off when they're all wet. But, okay. That's cute. But we still don't have a washing machine that can, like, work. And I don't know why. It looks cute, though, right? Oh! Okay. Whatever that bug was suddenly decided to like work. I'm I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna argue about that. Like I love it. Aw, what a sweet little nanny. Or manny. We'll call him a manny. Um Okay, so I feel like Angela needs to uh, purchase some candle making ingredients and since it's winter, we're going to do some red and green candles. And maybe some white candles. And then a bunch of wax. We'll do 10 wax. Ooh, look at that. Hobbies be expensive. <laughs> but not when, you know, we are going to make that our passion and our way of making money so <laughs> okay she bought herself so I love how cute this space is right here um, and I love the spiral staircase I was able to put in because in the actual chateau they put an elevator in their um turret over here however that doesn't work in gameplay so I thought well how cute would this be and instead of turning this into a big kitchen because gameplay wise that just does not like work well I think I'm going to turn this half of the basement into a little apartment and then this will be stuff for the family still yeah she acquired the fabrication skill 
Angel Strawbridge is beginning her journey into the world of fabrication. Creating objects on the fabricator or crafting candles at the candle making table will increase her fabrication skills. Which is good because that's like one of the things that she wants to do. Oh my gosh, look at Arthur <laughs> singing the songs. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yes, of course she likes stories. Angel can't get enough of the stories Arthur tells, especially that last one. It really brought that conversation alive. Yes. Yes, yes. Though be nerds. Gelbador, Damp Sagarbi, Gishal, Tribnathenib, Uh, Balafoy Camus, Awavine, Fidwini Dapsu, Wibs, Runa, Kush. Here, I feel like we should see what kind of parenting things we can do. The Gen Z Kimbalaya, Zamonis Arrow, Arvini Zonkso. She is getting sleepy, but I kind of want her to make another candle really quickly before we'll do a, a red one and a green one. And I can't decide if I want to just sell them from inventory, if I want to put them on like the Plopsy. Is that what it's called, right? Um, you can tell how much I've done that. So I don't, I don't really have a lot of experience with Plopsy. Um, and then, or if I just want to do like a market stall and like start that way, I don't know. But eventually, I think we want to have a store with like candles and flowers. And I was thinking maybe like a little bakery side. <laughs> oh, girl. Um, but maybe like have a bakery side that would have like wedding cakes and cupcakes and stuff. Um, because I feel like that gives like tribute to what they actually do in real life. And I was kind of thinking of making it kind of like, um, I don't know, possibly have like a wedding venue space on site. Yay, she made that candle. She was so excited about that. So there's... I want to see. Do we have rice? We do have rice right now. We could make some rice grain later. But right now she's going to go get some rest. What's Arthur doing? Oh, he's he was eating. Okay, that's good. Um, no. Yay, Mr. Strawbridge is home. The Festival of Lights has started. Why don't we have him come? Oh, we're going to teach him to talk. Okay. No, Ted Altman. We're not gonna do that. Why is he? Oh my goodness! Uh, oh, tell a Jim Wibsy. Tell a Jim Wibsy. Oh, he really needs to use the restroom. And like, let's make sure you wash your hands and stuff, though. We're gonna hold off on the teach to talk thing because, oof, it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I'd make that same reaction, too. Oh, short. Oh, he's the one walking around with the trail of disgusting? Okay, we are going to let him take a mud bath. We're going to not just wash his hands. We're going to get him a bath. Let's have Arthur. Maybe. What time is it? What is it? Everybody's in bed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> His picture down here with the hat and the mud mask on. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, why? <laughs> okay. 
expression of devotion to his to a beloved sim of uh, Angela, of course. We're gonna pin up, oh, pin that. Research cooking techniques. Get some sleep. Yeah, he's he's very. <gasps> Was Arthur just being sassy? Um, ask why. <laughs> So, in game, I am gonna have, um... Ew, why did he not... Did he not get clean from that? Okay, maybe... Take a speedy shower. And then come get some sleep. I don't want to put that on there yet, because sometimes when they're this tired... They won't do the previous action, but he really, really needs to. Yes, she is neat. Personality discovered. Arthur can read toddler books now. <laughs> he walked faster, and that was the reaction. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, also, what it like, or what it's like to be living with boys just sometimes huh my goodness my goodness gracious okay let's go see teach numbers he's getting so big let me see when his birthday is on here okay dorothy's birthday is coming up there we're going to have to do a birthday party for, we're going to add, that's not a, like, I want to see what the holidays are on here. No, I mean, the holiday's already there, it says birthday, but we're just going to add an event. Nope. A funeral service. A hundred dollar toddler play date? It's the same as the birthday. Why? Okay, we're gonna do it at the Strawbridge House. Oh, at what time? Um, we'll do a, no, not a.m. Mm-mm, not doing it at 2 a.m. 2 p.m. Okay, why well, won't it? That was weird. Okay. So he's the birthday sim. We're going to do these people and his grandparents because that's all that he really knows. Caterer. We're going to hire one. Do we really need? No. We don't need a mixologist and an entertainer for I'm curious what an entertainer for a birthday party would be though so we're gonna do one and this is okay uh, Dorothy's birthday party so we have some big things coming up we've got Dorothy's birthday party we've got Winterfest we've got Arthur's birthday party and then we have the New Year's Eve party oh my goodness some of these other things don't really pertain to us but the Fenwich garden fair is good to note because we have our garden we might want to enter something in there at some point I think it's really cute when they also, they, they go and watch, like, kids' shows together. <laughs> He's such a little ham. Oh, my goodness. I can only imagine that, like, in real life, it's almost as if someone is controlling his life. Will Dick finally fulfill his dreams or will whoever is calling trolling his life stop his wishes from coming true oh man 
He's got some worries and stress right now. We should brew some tea, I think. Some calming chamomile. That sounds lovely. I wonder if, like, kids or, like, toddlers can have tea. Does he need it? He doesn't look stinky. Is he stinky? <laughs> <laughs> the little baby laugh is so cute. So soon we're going to have to finish decorating for Winterfest because I'm thinking that we're going to have to have a party. We also need to like meet more Sims because, oh, oh my goodness. We need to go, no, I clicked on her. I do that all the time. Be like, oh, let's go get the baby. Oh, she's sucking her foot. She's so upset. Let's check on her. I do like that it. if you do that option, it teaches them like how to actually figure out like what's wrong. So you're not just guessing all the time. And it like increases their like parenting just capacity, I feel like. They bond. They bond nicely. I love this hairstyle on her. Oh, Dorothy was hungry, of course. And then she needs some sleep, I guess. She, she got sleep. She was just awake and angry in her bed all alone. Should we get carried there by Angel? I usually don't do things from the kid's perspective. I'm just like, I'll switch back over to the parent's perspective and be like, put them there. But I don't know why. Let's have Arthur come play with Dorothy. And that way Angela can get some food. She's hungry. And then, um, oh, I guess he's going to need to be <laughs> let out first. Okay, she's going to let him out. We'll hop her out and put this over there in the sink. And then get some leftovers. Why does she keep thinking something's gross smelling? Did he fart? <laughs> Aww. Look at his little imagination. How cute. Oh man. No, I'm very much looking forward to um, decorating more in the rooms in here. Um, I think that what we're going to do is also expand this kitchen back into this room and maybe put in like a pantry back here as well um, and have like a really nice kitchen that would be suitable for um, Dick to be able to make his fancy stuff for the bakery I don't know I feel like I'm gonna have him be like the head chef and baker in this situation um, and make like all these cupcakes and cakes and stuff like that and they can get started with that here I can't decide if I want to have her I don't think I'd be able to have her have a business like I was thinking about maybe doing like a little tiny shop over here like building something um, but I don't think it would make sense or be possible to separate that from the rest of the house because we are going to be getting, having renters. So this is going to be a rental lot too. So I don't know that that would really work as like a separate business. So I think we're going to just start by having things, um, um, what do you call it? Um, 
learning the skills, getting their inventory built up, um, figuring out some of those things, and then using the space that we have already. And then later on, we'll be able to expand that into owning a little lot somewhere in The Sims so that we can run the business side of things like that. So yeah, since, since we're going to be doing the uh, rental stuff, I think that makes the most sense because they do, they do a lot. They do a lot of things in order to fulfill their business ideas and um, just, they're so creative. They're so talented. They are doing, doing it all basically. So um, let's do some more laundry, I guess. I didn't realize there was more down here. I like that. Be quiet. Okay, so I guess like before, I swear you used to be able to like click on it and it would just give you the option. We're going to clean that lint tray. We don't want dirty lint trays. That is for sure. Okay, that is so cute actually. Oh, Dorothy. She can clap now. I feel like she needs some more tummy time, but we have not had... Oh, she does not seem very happy. Wow, very focused. Why are we so focused? I don't know. Come on, Arthur, let's go upstairs. <laughs> this is such a long way to go. Run here? I want to see that. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the cutest. So I do have to say that um, in order to get the right heights of the build, this main floor is taller because that's how the actual chateau would have been built um, than this lower level and this upper level. Um, so that does mean that my um, staircase here is a little bit short, but I don't mind that it clips weird. It, like it is what it is. I'd rather have it there than not. And I'm not gonna change the height of the ceilings because I have everything placed the way that I want it. So there's that. Oh, very cute. We're gonna do some cuddles with Dorothy. Oh, there we go, tummy time. We got the option. He's so playful. He is a little singer. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's, his bladder's getting low. Let's have him go use the potty. Wait, where's the potty that was in here? It's not in there either. We'll just, we'll put in a potty. Wait, where is their potties in here? It's just under furniture. Hmm. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. We're not gonna do that one though. Okay. That's oh, a little monster one. Okay, that one's pretty cute. We're gonna put that one over here. Okay. Come here, Arthur. You can go potty. Nope, you gotta stop talking though, so you can go potty. Don't wanna have an accident. Where's the tummy time? I'm gonna do blow raspberries. Ooh. We'll play peekaboo, I guess, instead. Mm. 
Why is he so dazed? Starting to burn out from his mental load. Maybe he should take a break or exercise some creative skills before it gets worse. Missing out on dreams. Oh my goodness. Mr. Strawbridge? Why? Would cooking make you feel better? What if we made some breakfast? Mm, let's do some... Oh. What? Let's... Ooh, let's do some fruit crepes. For sure. We also need to continue decorating this tree as it gets closer to Winterfest. And then put up some other Winterfest decorations, I feel like. This family is such a cute little family. <laughs> you have a horn. I'm trying to see... What? A fire has started? Extinguish it! Extinguish the fire! Oh my goodness! Extinguish the fire! Don't go to the kids! Extinguish the fire! Do we need to get Angela? Extinguish. Extinguish. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, call the fire department. Do something. I know you're trying to save the kids, but if we don't get the fire out, you're going to lose a lot more of the chateau. Ah! You guys, no! Oh, extinguish. Okay, get away from it. Do s what is happening? Why? Oh my goodness. Oh, finally. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're so happy that the fire's out. You didn't even do anything. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That was a disaster. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Serapi. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is over here freaking out. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna end that holiday early. I don't care. Luffy, Haspa. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Haspa, Haspa. Oh, oh, oh. Fluffy, Fluffy! Okay, I think you can go home now, though. You don't need to freak out about the fire anymore. Where is Arthur? He's still asleep in his bed. No, sir. No, no, no. You have to bring your baby with you. You can't leave her laying out in the snow. What is happening, sir? <gasps> There's a bunny rabbit. Talk about fluff. Is he gonna eat my my garden though? Cause... Oh my gosh, how cute is that? We're gonna get a picture of that too because that's so cute. Talk about foraging. She's in her socks. Why is she in her socks outside? He needs to bring Dorothy inside. Let's see. 
put Dorothy down there. But then I think after that, we need to get him... We're going to collect eggs, scatter some feed. I feel like maybe some time outside in the garden could be helpful for him. And we'll do some harvesting. Okay, we're going to speed this up. Come on, sir. He's still dazed. For another three hours? Why? I feel like the chickens are still getting out of this. We gotta look this for all the chickens. The bunny was just hopping away. Okay, I need to pause this for a second so I can get a cute little photo. So, so, to riff. Yeah, I felt like that would help him feel a little bit better. He's gonna get some food now. Who's calling Angela? No. You're off the clock, like we don't need to hang out, really. She's so confident from fighting the fire. <laughs> I love that. I'm like, heck yes, woman. Look at you making power woman moves. let's come okay so he's starting to feel a little bit better still give it a little bit of 17 hours on that from the fire oh my goodness look at how dirty this kitchen is what is happening Okay. Well, I feel like they've been making some pretty good progress today. And they have diverted disaster. Diverted? Averted? Whatever. They've gotten around disaster. And uh, I think that for now, we're just going to continue to look forward to Dorothy's birthday. And, uh, you know, har harnessing those uh, skills. So I appreciate you joining me for this episode of Let's Play with the Strawbridge family. Um, it's pretty exciting time around here as there's so much happening and so much developing with two tiny little ones who are very uh, dependent upon us. Um, we do have a little bit of helpers, um, but, you know, it's completely worth it because otherwise we wouldn't leave the nursery. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, please join us for the following ones. Make sure to follow this series uh, by subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. Thanks guys. Bye.